Holy freaking crap. Did you guys see this? Whoa. <laughs> Mac, how long would it take you to write that? Probably half an hour to an hour. Half an hour to an hour. We brought it down to a minute. I want to talk about something that you guys have not heard about, all right? I'm just kidding. You guys have all heard about it because everybody's talking about it and it's taken the world by storm and it's called ChatGPT. And uh, the platform is still free, uh, and, but I have been playing around with it. So I know some of you guys have been playing around with it too. Uh, I think it's time for me to teach you about it for those of you guys that don't know and also to give you some of my ideas on how to leverage and how to use it because it is ridiculous. Here's my opinion on, on the platform. It's not gonna replace humans. It's not going to. It's gonna make humans more efficient, all right? That's the way I feel about this platform. Uh, the idea is not to stop working. The idea is to be able to be more efficient in our workflows and to have uh, more production in general. We can do more with less. This technology, this artificial intelligence is being rolled out right now, which is Web 3.0 and, and the future of, 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 of this planet and when it comes to technology, it's just getting started. And the, the amount of, um, of use cases in our wildest dreams, this is like, like what we've been visualizing and the, and, and the um, script writers of science fiction has been visualizing for a long time. This is what this thing is. A lot of you guys don't really comprehend. And I have been every single day, wow, visualizing. Wow, what this means. Let me tell you something. For the agency, this is a major, major, major tool. And we got to start using it. People like Mac, the copywriters at AGM, uh, the Facebook ad media buyers, the the YouTube people that are working on YouTube accounts, the, the, uh, the um, content creators, the uh, graphic designers, the book offers, the, I mean, it really is so massive. It really is something that is like, and I'm going to give you guys some examples so you get to understand because you got to know what to communicate. Here's where the human element comes in. The, the platform is limited by your ability to communicate with it. You got to ask the questions. You got to request things from it for it to actually give you the value that you can get from it. But once you get how to use it, my, man, your man is going to start going crazy with it. All right. So hiring ads uh, for HR one, uh, currently promotion of the events, building landing pages for you, right? Creating like variations of Facebook ads. Guys, it's pretty insane. Some of you guys have to sit down and think about like, okay, how do I, how should I promote this and start from scratch? Instead, you use something like this to get your juices flowing, to get your mind moving forward at a faster pace. So again, it's about optimization of time. If you guys can become 10 times more efficient, we can produce a lot more. We can get a lot more results for clients. We can generate a lot more growth for the organization because humans, which I still need and want all of you, are gonna be, become more valuable. And that's the idea. And this is applicable to all departments and all areas across the board. And you can start thinking about, after I show you guys the examples, start thinking about how this is gonna be something valuable to you guys, all right? How you can actually incorporate it as part of your job and start leveraging it. Right now, still the platform is free. They're already surveying people, trying to find out what is a cause that will keep them on the platform. This, this is going to be a massive business uh, and because it, it is that valuable. There are some limitations. They're working on them, so they're only going to get better with time, only going to get better and stronger. They're in the early stages. They're about to launch in the next few months some massive upgrades. They're going to take this potential to that potential, just like that. But, you know, you guys are going to start seeing films, for example, that are being written by, by these guys, right? Stories produced by these guys. You're gonna start seeing like technology being rolled out that is being coded and programmed by these guys, by, you know, like programmers that spend hours, 12 hours in a day creating one particular set of codes are gonna be able to do it in five minutes and 10 minutes. So imagine, you know, how the technology 
is going to now accelerate at a much faster pace. Just like, for example, to be honest, COVID accelerated the internet. And instead of like be becoming massive in the next decade, it became massive in two years with COVID. Like brands like Natural Slam, we exploded during COVID because everybody transitioned over to the internet and to social media. This is gonna happen with chat, um, artificial intelligence like this. Uh, it's gonna accelerate the development of technology at scale, but we are gonna use it as a marketing company. And anybody that's watching this piece of content, as a brand builder, as a marketer that you are, as a business uh, individual, an entrepreneur, you gotta figure out how to use this to get things moving faster for yourself. I wanted to show you guys from the entry screen. So you gotta create an account here, chat.openai.com, uh, and you'll be able to create your own account. For now, it's free. They are having problems with like the traffic to the platform, so sometimes it stops working. That's a reality. Uh, and then it gives you a couple of like notes, like for example, conversations may be reviewed by our AI trainers to improve our systems. Please don't share any sensitive information in your conversations. Let's go to next. It's a little mind F, all right? It really is. It really is when you start understanding what this thing does. Uh, this system is optimized for dialogue. Let us know if a particular response was good or, or unhelpful, and then share your, your feedback in their, in their Discord service that, a server that they're using. Uh, okay, so to give you examples, explain quantum computing in simple terms. It's data bands, right? Uh, got any creative ideas for a 10-year-old's birthday? Whoa, right? So if you start realizing what it can do at a personal level, right? Like I have it saved on my phone, all right? So I created the app. It's not, an, it's not an app that you can download yet, but if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, you can create a desktop icon on your homepage, right? So I have a desktop icon over here. So whenever I wanna use it, I click on it, and I just ask questions. And I'll show you guys examples of what, of what you can ask in a second. I'll give you a personal example that you guys are gonna have some fun with. Uh, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? Whoa, right? So capabilities, remember what users said earlier in the conversation. So it's not just that question and that response. It remembers the conversation that they're having with you, right? Allows users to provide follow-up corrections, uh, train to decline, inappropriate request uh, limitations it may occasionally generate incorrect information it may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content it's a machine right it's not really re a response by human right so you'll see why because it's so instant and it's so like incredible uh, limited knowledge of world and events after 2021 right so they're working on that right now right they're, they're trying to update it but after 2021 you're not gonna get data as to you know, what's happening right now or what happened in the last year, right? So it's, they're still working on, on that particular limitation. So uh, one example, uh, you know, I played around this with, with, my, kids, with my kids for a while. So they, they would say, my, my son said something like this. I'll show you one of the personal examples. My 12 year old used to, he was like, whoa, how do I tell, true story guys, how do I tell, my, si my sister, she's adopted, <laughs> all right? So he asked that question, okay? And then look at the response that happens instantly. It is important to have a conversation with your sister about her adoption in a sensitive and compassionate manner. Before having the conversation, it may be helpful to gather information about her adoption and the circumstances surrounding it so that you can provide answers to any questions she may have. It may also be a good idea to have a trusted family member or therapist present during the conversation to provide support. I mean, this is just like ridiculous, right? The most important thing is to approach the conversation with love and understanding. Wow. And to be prepared to listen and support your sister as she processes this information. We laugh so hard at this, all right? Uh, anyways, you can keep on having conversations around that same uh, subject right there. Uh, and you guys can use your phones, by the way. You can set this up on your phone in the same way like I did um, and, uh, and have it saved on your, on, on your homepage. Uh, another example, you guys are gonna have some fun with this. Um, 
When was the last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl? Let's see what it says, all right? Dallas Cowboys, notice how the word Cowboys, it's just a word, right? That talks about these type of people that live in Texas, that wear hats and ride horses, right? They know exactly what I'm asking, all right? They know that I'm talking about football. It's that intelligence. That's kind of, that's Cowboys last won a Super Bowl in 1996. They defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl 30. Oh, by the way, what was the score of that game? What was the score of that game? All right? So let's see. And that, and that, by the way, is the longest that I've ever seen a take, by the way. The Dallas Cowboys defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl 30 with a score of 27-17. All right? How many, how many Super Bowls have the Cowboys won? And look at the detail of the re response this thing is going to give us, right? Dallas Cowboys have won totals five Super Bowls. They won in 1971, Super Bowl VI, 1977, uh, 1993, and 1996, Super Bowl XXX. It tells you the year, the, the Super Bowl number. I mean, if this thing goes next level, all right? And again, that's just the beginning, the introduction of what this thing can do. At a personal level, for fun, right? Like it said, you can come up with ideas for everything. Like, what should I do? to celebrate uh, my 17th anniversary with my wife this year. Let's see what it says, all right? There are many ways you can celebrate your 17th anniversary with your wife. Some ideas include plan a romantic getaway, take your wife on a surprise trip to a romantic destination such as a beach or a city you've always wanted to visit together, have a special dinner, make a reservation at a fancy restaurant, or cook a romantic dinner at home, Give her a thoughtful gift. Give her something that shows how much you care, like a piece of jewelry or a thoughtful note. Do something adventurous. Try a new activity together, like bungee jumping, skydiving, or a hit, hot air balloon ride. Renew your vows. Consider renewing your vows in a small ceremony with close friends and family. Recreate your first date. Take your wife back to the place where you had your first date and relieve the memories. What a great idea. That's a freaking great idea. I wouldn't have thought that if it wasn't for this, right? but it wants to end with something emotional. Ultimately, the most important thing to do is to do something that you both will enjoy and it will create a special memory for the both of you. Guys, who's mind blown already? Just at the personal level, right? And I am just literally scratching the surface with this, right? Scratching the surface. So how do we turn this into something for our marketing company? How do we turn this into something for business, for brands, for events, for all the things that we're doing? I made a list of questions just off the top of my head that we can ask so you guys can start understanding how to use this tool, which happens to be true. If you want to use it, Dan, do you want to use it? Yeah. Approved, all right? all right? Great. I am approving all purchase orders to use this particular tool because right now it is free to use for the time being, all right? So it's, it's, your, it's only limited by your imagination. This particular tool that you can all use right now it's limited exclusively by your ability to imagine how to use it, all right? It is that freaking powerful, and it's only going to get better and stronger. So let's look at an example for this, all right? Business, marketing. I'm going to ask a question here. Create, I'm not going to ask a question. I'm going to give him a command. Create a social media ad for an HVAC company. Okay, so let's see what it does. Again, I did not script this ahead of time. I did not practice it and see what the responses are. This is not planned at all. I am literally just asking questions for the first time ever to the platform, all right? Let's see the response to see if it's better than Mac. Where's Mac? Mac is right here, okay? So again, Mac, your job is not in danger. Because what you do right now is that you take these responses as inspiration to make them human, all right? Because the humans are irreplaceable. They are irreplaceable. We're not going away anytime soon. 
this whole thing, like the Will Smith, like iRobot movie, whatever that's called, it's not happening like that, guys. We're still going to be in control. That's just a reality. This whole platform is built by humans, and we are just going to take it to a whole different level. So we're going to become more productive with it, all right? So it's limited by all our abilities. So, Mac, you take this thing right here. Let's see what it says. Keep your home comfortable all year round with ABC HVAC. From furnace repairs to air conditioning installations, our team of certified technicians has got you covered. Don't let a broken HVAC system ruin your day. Call us today to schedule your appointment. Plus, mention this ad and get 10% off your first service. Hashtag HVAC, hashtag comfort, hashtag home. Can you believe that this freaking machine even threw out the hashtags? How crazy is that? And it says, you can also include an image of a happy family. It's suggesting you on the creative, guys. It is even suggesting you what type of creative to request based on their intelligence. You can also include an image of a happy family in a warm and comfortable home or an image of a technician working on an HVAC system with a caption, trust the expert at ABC HVAC to keep your home comfortable. Whoa. No, please double check all details and information before you post the ad to make sure it's accurate. Interesting now, it's also want to make, it's trying to be also a quality control for you, right? Don't just be posting it like that. Make sure that the details are correct. Now check this out. Correct, you can regenerate it, right? You can try it again, but here, let's expand it, all right? I love, who like that ad, ad variation? It's pretty darn good, right? First of all, the grammar is perfect, all right? There's no errors with the grammar. Second of all, it's pretty damn accurate, right? They recognize what the HVAC company stands for, what they service, what problems they solve, and they put it inside the thing. So what could potentially perform better? One ad that's tested or 10 variations of an ad? So you can find out which one works better. 10 variations, right? Okay, so it takes some time to create 10 variations, right? It takes some time. You gotta sit down and you gotta write down and you gotta get inspired, and you gotta get your first one, and now you gotta be like, let me create a different variation. Oh my God, and think about it, analyze it, and what word to use, and what not to use, et cetera. Boom, you create another one, it takes maybe another 20 minutes or so, all right? And then you gotta repeat that over again. Well, forget about that. Make 10 variations of the above copy. Let's see what it does. Look at this. It's going to name them out one by one. And guys, you now have 10 ad copy variations for your Facebook test. All you got to do is grab those things, copy them, paste them into a document, and make them human. Make them better because you're still a really good copywriter. And you're going to have a better ability to help these people convert into HVAC clients, right? It's going to keep on writing them instantly. So imagine, you guys see the big picture here, right? So now, instead of writing 10 ad variations in, I don't know, two hours or an hour and a half, maybe an hour if you're fast, right? You get to write them in a minute or two. We're already at number eight, just like that. We're going to read together the last one and see what it says. Nine. And let's get number 10. Stay comfortable in any weather with ABAC, H, HVAC. Our team of experts will keep your home cozy in the winter and cool in the summer. Whoa. Contact us today to schedule your appointment, HVAC, comfort, and home with the hashtags, all right? Just like that. We grab those 10 variations, and then we even ask them, what type of creative should I use, right? What type of creatives? should I use for these HVAC ads? Let's see, again, I'm not, you know, I'm just literally improvising. There are several types of creative you can use for HVAC ads. Some options include images of happy families in a warm and comfortable home with the HVAC system prominently displayed, photos of your team of technicians. What a freaking great idea! Are you kidding me? All right? Like if you grab the entire marketing team, 
and you put them together and say, hey, we're here for you, right? That communicates that we have humans ready to help them, right? Uh, let's go back up over here. Let's look at these ideas. This is just brilliant, right? Infographics that show the benefits of irregular HVAC maintenance, such as lower energy bills and improved indoor air quality. Before and after images of HVAC installations showcasing the difference your services can make. Testimonials from satisfied customers with quotes and photos. Animated videos, 100% accurate, guys. I got no corrections on these recommendations. Wow. Should I just drop the mic on behalf of the chat platform? Whoa, right? You can do a webinar script. There are limitations are only based on your ability to create questions, create guides, right? Brian, on the sales department, all right? You can say, write me a sales script to sell marketing services and ask for like 20 variations and see what things it comes up with so you can actually get better in the sales area. There is not a single department that this could not benefit from, all right? The last, the last one says, a virtual tour of a home. Well, absolutely. With different scenarios of different seasons, with different HVAC systems working efficiently. A video tour of your facilities or workshops, right? So you can make yourself real to them, to show that you have all the necessary equipment and professional team to do the job. Make people trust you, right? That's pretty crazy stuff, guys, right? I actually wrote a lot of like ideas on this, but just this is like, it's, it's mind blowing, it's mind bending. The key is, so now he's gonna give you advice, right? Is to use high quality images and videos that showcase your services and the benefits of working with your company and to make sure that the message it's clear and easy to understand, all right? So who's excited about using this? Holy crap, right? So examples that I wrote over here. Let's test it out really quickly, right? Because we do have a lot of activities to do for the rest of the day. I want to write a press release for the grand opening of a marketing company, all right? Write a press release for grand opening event of marketing company. Let's see what it does. Let's see what this thing puts together, all right? More examples, let's give it a second, all right? More examples that I wrote over here, create a script for a weight loss supplement video. It's not, it's still in English only, it's coming, all right? I'm working on it, I'm translating the plan. I'm just kidding, I'm not. I got nothing to do with this. Write a raving testimonial using the word raving, right? I'm like raving because I want the platform to understand that I want something that is like full of excitement. Write a raving testimonial of a marketing agency, all right? And you know what you do with that? You go to a client that is very satisfied and you say, listen, can you please write a review for us? By the way, if you want to get inspired, I wrote one for you, all right? Here you go. You can use it or you can tweak it for yourself, Carly, right? Write a review of marketing workshops, all right? And then you can send it to them and be like, hey, just to make your life easier, I wrote this for you, but feel free to tweak it to make it yours. If not, you can just go ahead and paste that same one. Do you think that's gonna help you get more reviews, Carly? That's right. And you can make them different every day. So they're not, they're not the same reviews. Every single time, right? Imagine the power of that, right? So you have workshops coming in here, you got 50 people coming in here. You want to get them to review. You can give them a different template the next day to all 50 by simply asking for it 50 times or by saying to it, give me 50 variations of reviews to my marketing workshop. And now you have 50 reviews on Google that they all look different, okay? That's how we make ourselves more efficient, stronger, better, and we grow at a faster pace. So we can either jump on board on this technology is going to change the world or we can wave goodbye while a lot of people are benefiting from it and we say, oh my God, we're going to be replaced by robots and complain about it, all right? Because nothing is slowing this train down. We either jump on board or we wave goodbye. Literally, only two options here. So look at this uh, press release, all right? New marketing company XYZ Marketing announces grand opening event. City State, XYZ Marketing, a new marketing company is excited to announce the grand opening of its new office on 
The event will take place from time to time at this particular address. The grand opening event will feature a ribbon cutting ceremony, tours of the new office space, and an opportunity to meet the team. Facts. Guests can also enjoy refreshments and networking opportunities. Are, are we so far on track with our grand opening? It looks like our grand opening, right? That we had a year and a half ago. All right. XYZ Marketing specializes in lists of services for businesses of all sizes. The company offers a wide range of services, including lists of services. The team at XYZ Marketing is dedicated to helping businesses achieve their marketing goals and drive growth. We're excited to be a part of this community and look forward to working with local businesses to help them achieve their marketing goals. Said founder's name. The grand opening event is open to the public and all are welcome to attend. RSVPs are appreciated and can be sent to Carly. For more information about XYZ Marketing and its services, visit agmagency.com. And then a section about XYZ Marketing is a Largo, Florida marketing company that specializes in lists of services for businesses of all sizes. The company's mission is to help businesses achieve their marketing goals and drive growth. Holy freaking crap, did you guys see this? Whoa! <laughs> Mac, how long would it take you to write that? Probably half an hour to an hour. Half an hour to an hour, we brought it down to a minute. Okay? And now, and the only thing that Mac needs to do right now, and he needs to jump into that article, copy it and paste it in a Google Doc or whatever he prefers, and he needs to personalize it to make it AGM and add any sexy element that he wants to add. And we got a beautiful press release. Instead of launching one press release a week, we can go up to 10 press releases a week or even 100. So we can go and grow at scale. It's that powerful. Jesus, you want to get inspiration for emails? Go ahead and grab some of the stuff that we're doing and ask this machine to give you emails. Write a sequence of seven emails to talk about lead generation. Have it get you inspired, all right? Just, that's all you need. You don't need to plagiarize what the thing is doing. You need to have the thing inspire you. And that's gonna just dramatically, exponentially improve your ability to produce at scale. And the more that we produce, the more we can grow, guys, all right? Other, I wanna try this one very quickly, and then we're gonna be wrapping up in a second because I know it's exciting and I wanna talk about this endlessly. But for example, this is the one that I told you guys, right? So write uh, a raving testimonial uh, about marketing, about a marketing workshop. I can even say specifics. Uh, from a woman, was that who said something? From a woman's perspective. It's only, you guys see how you guys now have opinions? Those are the only limitations here. Your opinions and your ability to think with what to ask this thing is what determines how much value you get to it. Was that? Great. The more specific you get, Kevin, the more value you're going to get from the platform, right? Between 200 and 300 words. Let's see what it does to us, all right? Look at how fast it's already giving me the answer. I recently attended the XYZ Marketing Workshop, and it was a truly transformative experience. As a business owner, I didn't say talk about a business owner. I have always struggled with marketing my business effectively, but after attending the workshop, I feel confident and empowered to take my marketing efforts to the next level. The workshop was led by a team of experts. It's going too fast. It's going too fast. The workshop was led by a team of expert marketers who were not only knowledgeable, but also approachable and relatable. The content was delivered in a way that was easy to understand. I mean, I can probably say to it, mention Manuel Suarez. Right? The speaker, Manuel Suarez. Mention the speaker, Manuel Suarez, right? Um, the content was delivered in a way that it was easy to understand and apply to my own business. The interactive nature of the workshop allowed me to ask questions and get personalized advice from the experts. I especially appreciated the focus on digital marketing strategies. Guys, I didn't even mention digital marketing. How does it know? How does it know? All right? Uh, whoa. Access to my microphone, all it says. The workshop provided me with comprehensive understanding of how to leverage various digital channels to reach my target audience and drive conversions. But the workshop, but, it has a but, all right? But the workshop wasn't just about learning new marketing strategies. It was also an opportunity to network with other business owners. 
Oh my God, I can't take, I cannot take this. I, I cannot take this, guys. I just can't, I just can't, all right? Who shared their own challenges and successes. It was inspiring to hear how they were able to implement the strategies we learned at the workshop and see real results. Overall, I will highly recommend the XYZ Marketing Workshop to any business owner looking to take their marketing efforts to the next level. Carly, these people are gonna think that you are a copywriting genius, all right? They're gonna think like, wow. Wow, she's being underpaid for this role. Wow, imagine flooding our Google reviews with things like this, with many variations of that, all right? Professionally written, no grammatical problems, just like something that really communicates. Because here's the reality. You can say yourself that you feel that you know this was written by AI. You don't, all right? In reality, you know that right now because you're here with me. But if you read that, if I read that and you forget about this, you don't know that this was written by, by an artificial robot, all right? Because it looks like it's written by a human. It really does. To any business owner looking to take marketing efforts to the next level, it was an incredibly valuable investment, and I'm confident the strategies I learned will help me grow my business. Thank you, XYZ marketing team, for such an amazing experience. Whoa, right? Right? You can get much more in-depth, you can get more sophisticated, you can ask questions, you can handle your own like, questions and concerns. Like, how do I convince uh, a, uh, a brand uh, owner of a supplement company to join my marketing company, right? Get advice, get the things to recommend, because here's the thing, it is crawling through the internet at, at instant seconds, right? And putting all the data together and giving you this intelligence responses. And, and that's what it's doing. So you have the world, the cliche-ish, all right? The world at your fingertips. The entire world of the internet is gonna be put in this place that you can answer. This, guys, it is a massive threat for the first time ever to this thing that you guys all know as Google. For the first time ever, and Google, Microsoft is actually getting involved in this thing. Here's the thing, I am going now it's common sense as to why is it why it is a threat, right? It's very logical. The reason why Google makes so much money, 95% of it is ad revenue from their Google search platform. You guys know that, right? So this is what's happening now. People like me are not Googling stuff anymore. I am using this thing to get my answers. So the search engine doesn't have the ability to show ads to me. It's very commonsensical, all right? It's nothing strange. So platforms like Google, are threatened by it, even though they're not really publicly stating it, they are gonna be affected by it because some people are gonna do what I'm doing more and more and more, which is go to their phones and use the chat app. And I would even pay for it once they actually make a paid plan because it is that powerful and that special. Journal citations, yeah, you know, something that I did, check this out, I did this, give me uh, 10, Quotes by Abraham Lincoln. All right? So look at this. You know, if you have people that you believe are inspirational and you want to use them in your content, in your email, whatever, just use that, right? Uh, how much time does that save you? If you Google, you, start, you have to start opening up links, all right? Wait for load times. You got to be presented with ads, many cases that invade your space, and many times you click on things that are clickbait, and when you go in there, there's subscriptions, you gotta sign up to get the quotes, there's other things. That's all being like, the middleman is being eliminated, right, with this thing. The best thing about the future is that it comes any day at a time, all right? Uh, it comes one day at a time, great quote. The best way to get a bad law repelled uh, is to enforce it strictly, all right? Common looking people are the best in the world, that is the reason the Lord makes so many of them. No man is good enough to go govern another man without that other's consent. Great freaking quotes, Abraham Lincoln. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Some of you guys have heard that one for ages, right? You can fool some of the people all the time, and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time, all right? So let's see. I am, I am risking my own brand right here by doing this. Uh, obviously, I'm not Abraham Lincoln, but let's see how smart this thing is. 
If, if not, we can blame it on Jesus, all right? You see? I apologize, but Manuel is still not big enough for me to have any, any attention on his stuff going on, all right? Uh, it's not pre-2021. It's up to 2021, all right? But, yeah, so... I, Yeah, exactly. So obviously, you know, it's like there has to be a certain reputation, right, of the person for it to show up over here, right? Ask it to learn about Manuel Suarez. It might be. All right, this, this is a major can of worms, guys. Major can of worms. And I don't know about you guys, but I got a meeting with Jason Flatland in 12 minutes, all right? So I got to get ready for that. Um, you know, so again, examples, I'm not going to go for them uh, because I, know, I think this video is already long enough. Compose 10 ad variations to promote a tax preparation service, for example, right? Write a hiring ad for a marketing company. Give me 10 variations of hiring ads. Write a landing page for a hiring, uh, um, for a hiring uh, website, whatever, right? Uh, create a blog of at least 1,000 words, right? Talking about organic gardens and the creation of them. You're going to talk about organic gardens and talk about how to create them. Jimmy? Okay, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Jimmy's request. Write a video ad script for a supplement keto company. All right, let's do that. Give me um, how many registered chiropractors in the USA? Think about that. Think about that. The, the other thing of like this that I'm not going to get into, guys, is how much you can use it to understand data to reverse engineer markets, to find out, for example, like crazy things. Like, let's look at this right here. We're going to wrap it up in a second with that. Uh, but check this out. There's a whole script right here, Jimmy. A person is sitting at a desk, working on their laptop, looking tired and stressed. Narrator, are you struggling to stick to your keto diet, feeling sluggish and unmotivated? The person gets up from their desk, looking determined. Narrator, introducing XYZ keto supplements are specially formulated blend of natural ingredients will help you stay in ketosis and boost your energy levels. The person is shown jogging outside, looking energized and happy. Narrator, our supplements are designed to help you burn fat and lose weight while also providing essential nutrients for overall health. Cut to a shot of the supplement being made in the lab. Whoa! Narrator, made with the highest quality ingredients and manufactured in a GMP certified facility. Are you kidding me? All right? That's a big deal, right? The GMP, they're mentioning the GMP certified. That is marketing. Like, it's something that you will think only a human will think about putting on a script. GMP certified says, you can trust that our supplements are safe and effective. The person is shown sitting at a table, eating a healthy meal. Narrator, start seeing results and feeling great with XYZ keto supplements. Try them today and take the first step towards your weight loss goals. Closing shot. The person is shown looking happy and confident with the XYZ Keto Supplements logo on screen. Narrator, XYZ Keto Supplements, your partner in keto success. Note, please double check all details and information before you post the ad to make sure it is accurate. All right? Wow. Right? So let me ask this question right here. How many, how many chiropractors in the USA? Let's see. As of, 70, as of 2021, so you see, now you're doing research about your prospects and about your audience. And this could get very micro. I asked a big question right now, right? Let's say that we want to go after, let's say that I'm talking with our new partner who asks very intelligent questions. Sometimes he asks questions and we're like, uh, 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 Jorge, uh, you got an answer to that question, Jorge? Uh, oh, how many chiropractors are there in the USA? Instead of me having to start Googling stuff, I just pull out the app and I ask it. I said, Tom, there's 74,000 licensed chiropractors in the USA as of 2021. This number can vary depending on the source as it can change over time. The chiropractic profession is regulated at the state level and different states may have different requirements for licensure. However, this number gives a general idea of the size of the chiropractic profession in the US. Do you see? It's not just only about marketing and creatives. It's about you understanding the client that you're servicing. Right? That's, that's uh, okay. How many chiropractors in Largo, Florida? 
All right, let's see. Not, doesn't have that specific data. I'm sorry, I don't have the most exact numbers compared to Lago Florida. As my knowledge cuts off, it's 2021, and this information is constantly changing as we're just checking with Florida Board of Chiropractic Medicine. So it tells you that it cannot give you that data, but it gives you a solution to find that specific data, all right? So again, this is a baby in its early stages, in infancy, just being launched to the world. And it's going to keep on developing, but you guys can see the big picture of where it's headed. What was the question that you wanted to ask? What are the top, oh, that's a great question, all right? And we're going to wrap it up with this one. What are the top keywords uh, for Google Ads for HVAC companies? Okay, let's see. There are many keywords that HVAC companies might use for Google Ad campaigns. Some examples of top keywords for HVAC companies include HVAC repair, air conditioning repair, furnace repair, HVAC service, air conditioning service, furnace service, HVAC installation, air conditioning installation, furnace installation, HVAC maintenance, air conditioning maintenance, furnace maintenance, HVAC contractor, air conditioning contractor, HVAC company, air conditioning company, furnace company, HVAC near me, air conditioning near me. These are just examples, and it is important to research and choose the keywords that are most relevant to your HVAC company and the services you offer. Also, it is important to constantly monitor your keywords performance. Thanks for the advice. And adjust them accordingly to make sure you get the best results. So how about if you say, give me 100 keywords, All right? It will give you 100 keywords. Copy and paste them, off you go, plug them into Google. Who thinks that's gonna make you more effective as a marketer? All right? Who thinks that that's gonna help us get better results for clients? Let's use it, guys. Let's freaking use it, all right? Especially now that it's free, we can go in there and start diving into it. Wasn't that amazing? All right, good, let's go, guys. Let's wrap it up.